So this is a question from TIFR 2023 and uh, a symmetric matrix is given and they want an orthogonal matrix O which can diagonalize this matrix by an orthogonal transformation O, T, M, O and they want that matrix O. So I think you remember the similarity transformation. The similarity transformation is semi Clarity transformation. What is this similarity transformation? So in similarity transformation, we get a matrix, which may be a diagonal matrix given by O, T, M, and O. And this matrix O is made up of the eigenvectors like this x1, x2, x3 the eigenvectors which are calculated using the eigenvalues of the matrix M and then corresponding to every eigenvalue we will get eigenvectors and then we will put eigenvectors in column like this and we will take them normalized so that matrix O is required here okay so what is the first step so the first step will be first step is that just we will calculate the just we will calculate the eigen values okay so let us calculate the eigenvalues that will be given by m minus lambda i is equal to 0. So it will be 1 by 3 minus lambda, 1 minus lambda and 1 by 3 minus lambda, 0, 2 by 3, 0, 0 and 2 by 3 and 0 this is equal to 0. So calculate this 1 by 3 minus lambda and 1 minus lambda 1 by 3 minus lambda minus 0 then second one is obviously 0 and plus 2 by 3 and then this side 0 minus 1 minus lambda and into 2 by 3 this is equal to 0 okay so you can take uh, 1 minus lambda common so 1 minus lambda will be common and you will get here 1 by 3 minus lambda whole square and uh, here minus 4 by 9 and this is equal to 0 okay now you have to solve this one value we got one eigenvalue is lambda is equal to one and the second and third eigenvalue we can get it from here one by three minus lambda square is equal to four by nine so it will be one by three minus lambda is equal to two by nine and one by three minus lambda is equal to minus two by three and uh, under root of this and minus 2 by 3 okay because plus and minus both values you have to take now what is the value of lambda here lambda is 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 which is minus 1 by 3 and what about here lambda is 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 which is 1 so finally as eigenvalues we got lambda is equal to 1 lambda is equal to 1 and one value is lambda is equal to minus 1 by 3 you can quickly check it using the trace of the matrix because trace of the matrix is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 which is equal to uh, 3 I can multiply so 3 1 4 1 5 5 by 3 
and you can check from here it is 2 minus 1 by 3 which is 5 by 3 so supposedly the eigenvalues are correct now the corresponding to these eigenvalues we have to calculate the eigenvectors okay so let us calculate the eigenvectors corresponding to these eigenvalues so it will be the first eigenvector so these two are degenerate values these are degenerate values and this one is non-degenerate value so let us uh, get it for first value lambda is equal to minus 1 by 3 okay so if I go for this so we actually got uh, this eigenvalues as so I only need that much I got eigenvalues as minus 1 by 3 1 and 1 okay and lambda is equal to minus 1 by 3 let us get eigenvectors so it will become uh, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 so it will become 2 by 3 and 1 minus 1 by 3 will become 1 plus 1 by 3 so it will become 4 by 3 okay and 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 will become 2 by 3 and then 0 2 by 3 0 and 0 and 2 by 3 and 0 this into so a vector x y z and this is equal to 0 0 and 0 so I am using m minus lambda i into a vector is equal to 0 this equation I am using okay and lambda is equal to minus 1 by 3 so that's why it is subtracted from this i is identity matrix so it is subtracted from here and uh, because of the minus sign it is added okay so uh, now you can just take 2 by 3 common from the matrix and it will give you 1 0 1 0 2 0 and 1 0 1 this into x y z is equal to 0 0 and 0 so what we get here is x plus 0 y plus uh, 0 z is equal to 0 the second one is 0 x plus 2 y plus 0 z is equal to 0 and third one is same so I am not writing it so what I get from here uh, just a second it is x plus 0 y plus z is equal to 0 and uh, 0 x plus 2 y plus 0 z is equal to 0 so from this equation you get essentially y is equal to 0 and the first equation gives you x is equal to minus z. So what kind of vector you can write it from here? You can write here the vector. If I write it as 1 it will become minus 1 and this will become 0. And if I normalize it it will become 1 by root 2 1 0 and minus 1. Okay, you can write it like this also 1 by root 2 and 0 and minus 1 by root 2 as a vector. Okay, so this is lambda is equal to minus 1 by 3. So similarly, you can calculate corresponding to uh, lambda is equal to 1. So what will happen corresponding to lambda is equal to 1? let us write the matrix so it will become 1 by 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 and 1 by 3 minus 1 and other values are same 0 2 by 3 and 0 0 and 2 by 3 and 0 this into x y and z 
is equal to 0 0 and 0 so let us see what we get here this value will be a uh, 1 by 3 minus 1 means 1 minus 3 by 3 which is minus 2 by 3 okay so this value will become minus 2 by 3 0 2 by 3 0 0 and 0 and 2 by 3 0 minus 2 by 3 into x y z is equal to 0 0 and 0 okay now you can take 2 by 3 common from this and it will become uh, minus 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 minus 1 into this is equal to this okay now you write the equation it will become minus x plus 0 y plus z is equal to 0 only one equation we are getting and that to suggesting it x is equal to z so I have to write two times because of the degeneracy I have to write two different eigenvectors so first one I choose I write 1 1 here and 0 here and second one I can choose I write 0 0 here and 1 here okay so this will become again if I normalize this it will become under 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 and this one will be simple 0 1 and 0 so three eigenvectors have appeared in front of us just write them in a matrix all the three eigenvectors just write them in a matrix and uh, that matrix will become 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 2 then 0 1 0 and then minus 1 by root 2 and 0 and 1 by root okay so you check in the option uh, that option will be the correct one so you should know actually what is similarity transformation and uh, how we write uh, how we diagonalize the matrix so that in general we call that p matrix but there is nothing fixed so here they have called it o okay so that is okay so you can calculate it like that thank you